Happy birthday, Crane. I was reflecting this morning on whether I would sing to you or not, and I decided to uh, uh, not sing because you've probably heard the birthday song, which to me is a very mediocre song, uh, uh, hundreds of times already. I will, however, refer to the uh, the last part, the uh, and many more. I wish you many more, but only as many more as it takes to flash you out of here into Bhagavan's uh, bright divine heart space, his divine domain. Not one more, not even a fraction of one more, because uh, I know, as you do, and as that bumper sticker said, uh, getting old is not for wimps. Uh, that uh, being here uh, in the waking state especially is not fun. Uh, so that's my wish for you. A very happy time here, uh, given by Bhagavan's grace, that happy love that he is. Um, I was also remembering a portion of one of my favorite poems from Crazy Dom Must Sing. The wonder is not that we will be together, me with those I'm loving on some other side. The wonder is that we've met and been together, loving here in this half-made world where love has yet to take its hold. That pretty much sums it up. And uh, I'm so glad that you enjoyed reading my life story. It's, uh, I'm in my third rewrite, as, it, as I mentioned, and I was reflecting this morning in the hall also on the fact that you and I um, coincided somewhat in the unlikely location of Virginia City, Nevada, and uh, even frequented some of the same haunts there, namely the Silver Queen and uh, my favorite place in Virginia City of the saloons there anyway, Pat Hart's Brass Rail. I think it was Pat Hart's Brass Rail that had what was called the Sky Room, a room that uh, was all glass looking out over Six Mile Canyon. And it had at least one of those uh, put a dime in it uh, telescope uh, affairs that almost never work. And I, but I remember the one of them there did work, and I spent lots of time as a boy gazing out down Six Mile Canyon for some reason. Maybe it was because uh, you were there and. Uh, were connected more deeply than I was at the time with uh, this whole matter of uh, spiritual life and practice. In any case, I would have been very pleased to make your acquaintance during that time. You were, uh, what, 13? Yeah, 13 or so years older than me and uh, might have been a uh, a human and spiritual brother to me. Uh, but as it turned out, we didn't uh, uh, coincide. We didn't meet each other. And I guess that's fine because as the science fiction uh, buffs realize, if anything were different in the past, it would probably change. No, it would inevitably change the future. And since we have coincided, here in Bhagavan Adida's company, that's about as good as it gets. Um, even so, I would have enjoyed your company then because, dear Crane, my friend, I can count the number of really fine people, really fine people, the finest of whom, of course, is Bhagavan Adida himself, who is not only the divine person, but the finest man 
I ever met, bar none. But I count you among that handful of people who I've had the pleasure of knowing in this life. You're just a you're just a fantastic man and a great example of true manhood, of vulnerability, of love, of generosity, of uh, sophistication and true intelligence, feeling capacity, humor, uh, the ability to praise, uh, the ability to practice, to not presume a problem. Uh, you're just a wonderful man, and I love you dearly, and I have deep respect for you. I'm sending you um, under a separate email uh, to Sepia. I'm sending uh, to you uh, a video, uh, an audio video of an encounter between Bhagavan Adi Da and me during a gathering in 1992 on Naitamba. I know you and I were there at the same time that time for a portion of our respective retreats, but I think you had just left at the time this video was made because I don't believe you were there. Anyway, I I am sure you will like it, and uh, it is my primary present to you, uh, along with my love, and this little video. I love you, I love you, I love you, Crane. Uh, thank you very much for being my friend and my fellow devotee, happy birthday to you.